Chapter 1 Flashback and John You are listening at FameTV.info On Earth you were known as a total ass hat. Jackass douch bag. You know where I'm going right? Yes, I do. Anyway you were an outcast who gave no one the time of day. Until, you enlisted in the US Marines. After basic training you were shipped out to fight in WW3, uh, yeah that was a very bloody battle. During the war you were scouted by the raiders. An elite group of men, where you honed your ability to kill, after you had been in the raiders for two years, five years in the military age 23, you were picked for a team of soldiers consisting of a Air Force Ace pilot, Army Green Beret, Navy SEAL, and you. So. What does my background have anything? Oh. So you understand now, dot. Hey, are any of you guys a John Voorhees, big guy tall bout, 6'4, yeah, that's me what did you need, John asks. Oh. That makes things so much easier for me, a perky young blonde stated. Well well w.l look who we have here if it ain't Mrs. Hefferson what a bitch of a cow. That guy shoulda kept his mouth shut. Holy shit she broke his jaw. So dot oh what do you need? Specifically what do you want from me, John asked curiously. Nothing much I just want you and your squad mates to work for me, she leaned in and whispered, and I mean the ones of the firefall squad. John went completely still. What the fuck? How in the hell can she know about that? Grabbing his phone and his keys he nodded his head toward the door. Not here. Not now. Let's go I'll call the boys. No need they're already here and I own this bar. She then stands up on the counter and screams, get the fuck out now. Everyone left just like that except you her four guys dressed like you and twenty that are like the big man. Now I'm only gonna say this one damn time do you understand? She said completely serious. Rich just had to fuck around though. Gotten killed. Yeah, 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 we got it now shut up and tell us what the fuck WR. The big guy shot Rich right in the head and insta dot kill. Oh. SHIT, I hope whatever you need us to do can be done without a pilot. John states shaking his head, why cause you just shot ours. Oh. John's and his friends are surrounded by 20 make that 19 men all armed and to get out is gonna be hard. Here's my deal. You four become my personal hit squad and you live make a lot of money yada yada yada. Or. You can die. What's your choice? None of you even think just smile and say, nah, malum enim est committed tis pro sui. Confused she asks, what John just takes of his shirt there on his arm is a tattoo of the Grim Reaper with the saying. Malum enim est committed tis pro sui. It's kinda our motto. Now come I wish to see how many I can vent it in manus metentium collegier expectans dimitam animus hodi. And so they fought and all died John and his friends sent seventeen souls to the reaper. Including that bitch that started all this. She shoulda stood back, after that you ended up in the system of reincarnation of heroes. Which is why I now exist, okay. I think I understand let's go do that mission. Okay. Exiting flashback now. Complete. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.